guys, it's Brandon Mapner 9 and today I'm going to be telling you how to properly play Adventure Up. Adventure Up, basically, if you don't know and you're, for some reason you don't know, you don't know what Adventure Up is and you're still trying to watch this video, it's a game, it's where you do dungeons, you level up, you get to level 60 is the max level and you get better armor along the way, you get gems that you can put on your armor which is very important at level 60. Um, and then you can just like go to the explore, um, there are some bosses that spawn there, they give you tokens, you can craft armor, which you can craft them by using, um, items that you get in the explore zone that you forge for, and there are potions that you can, um, make, uh, using, uh, using, like, forged items as well. So, yeah, now how to actually properly play Adventure Up. Now, you're basically not even playing the game until you're level 60 and this might be a controversial statement because like uh, the only thing you're doing at level uh, at level 1 through 59 is just leveling up that's the only thing you're doing you're not doing anything else um uh, you you don't that's the only thing you focus on that's why there are so many of you searching that up and watching my how to level up video which actually is pretty that good not gonna lie but um <laughs> so how to actually properly play it so uh the first thing you want to do is one through level 59 level up level up doesn't matter what you do explore zone is basically useless you don't it doesn't really matter much the only time where uh the only thing that you want to do with the explore zone is um, is if we go over here to the explore zone, let's go to, uh, Pleasant Valley because you're going to be starting out there. The only thing you're going to be wanting to start with is, um, foraging. Foraging, you don't need any wood, you don't need any copper, wow, that was a lot of lag. You don't need wood, you don't need that, you don't need copper, uh, you, you use that to craft, but you can just get armor and weapons from dungeons, and then, uh, yeah. So what you want to do, uh, what you want to actually do is collect these valley flowers. You just have to press F to uh, collect them. And then once you're high enough level, I'm pretty sure it's level 8, uh, you can see your XP by pressing L. And then uh, you can see um, forging is maxed, and if you press F, I'm pretty sure... You have to be level 6 or 8 to collect um, these red berries. You don't really want to cra uh, you, you No, you actually do want to craft them, uh, craft things with these. So what you do is once you have enough, um, you don't actually need these potions. You go back to the lobby. Um, you just want to keep leveling up your alchemy if, and your foraging. Uh, so that's the only thing you want to do. Um, while you're doing dungeons, like, so then, once you have that, you just need to craft a few, oh, that's, that's laggy, and you want to come over here to the crafting create shop, uh, over here at spawn, and then you're going to want to go to potions, uh, as you can see, potions, and then you can start crafting things. Now, the, the things you want to, um, craft are the high, you want to craft these, like, the highest level, um, items, because those give you the most alchemy level. Um, if you have the option of crafting a lesser hit or a tiny experience, you want to craft this because it give it would give you more, um, alchemy experience. And you would want to use this because it would give you, uh, extra, um, like, level experience, um, in dungeons. So, uh, you want to keep doing that. You don't want to, like, do it for all of your time. You can just mix that in, um, while doing dungeons. Um, you want to be doing dungeons, and then, like, w once you're, like, kind of bored of that, you can start foraging. And then, um, after that, what you want to do is, once you you keep doing dungeons and stuff to level 30, you can come over here to the crafting tree and make the grand experience potion. And what these do is... Um, uh, you, you have to, the reason, uh, as you can see, it says level 30 potion, which means you have to be level 30 to use this potion. So that's why you want to make them around level 30, because obviously you c won't be able to use them before. Um, uh, the way you want to do dungeons is you want to like just, um, solo them. If you can't do a dungeon, uh, for example, if I can do crystal caverns, uh, if I'm level 8, I would rather do Crystal Caverns because I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to beat Skylands. 
um if you have like a friend that's like a lot higher level maybe even lack max level you can ask him to help you but like you want because uh, that would be faster xp but usually you would want to be soloing because that would be just give it uh, you'd be able to uh, you might be able to get <clears throat> more xp from skylands and crystal caverns but the only way you could do that is asking for other people to carry you and if you don't have like a bunch of friends um at a low level which you probably don't um uh, at a low level because like um you usually start making adventure friends uh like around level 60 so you're you're gonna mostly be wanting to do um just crystal uh, like just keep doing whatever you can do and not just like what other people can do and ask them um if you have a friend obviously as i said like a billion times just la ask them uh, ask them if they could help you and then um once you reach like heroic um and you can do heroic you want to do heroic because that gives the most xp and once you're up to mythic um it gives more xp let's say you're level 32 you want to do normal mount asia you can if you want to have fun but if you want to um, level up, you want to go to Skylands, unless you can't do that. If you can't do the Mythic Skylands, which um, maybe if you can't, you can just go to Mythic's Crystal Caverns. If you can't do that, maybe you can go to Heroic uh, Heroic uh, Skylands or uh, Crystal Caverns because you wouldn't be high enough level to do Royal Hall. Oh, no, actually, you would. So I'm just using all these as an example. Um, and Mythic and Heroic give more xp than normal no matter what mythic crystal cavern caverns give gives more xp than normal mount asia uh this is because mythic is uh like the higher like normal heroic mythic uh, max um it is then the more like all of those are like uh all mythic uh, heroic and normal uh like uh, normal the higher like one of those it is then um the that's then the harder it is and the harder the dungeon the more xp it gives so now uh once you are at level 60 what you want to do is whatever you are if you're a mage if you're a warrior um just get either second age armor if you're a warrior uh wrathful mage armor if you're a um if you're a mage and uh no, lights to spare armor if you're a tank this time i am not going to leave out the tanks maybe i don't know um, and then what, what you want to do is you want to keep doing max Mount Asia if only if you have full epic um, second age armor if you're a tank I mean no not a tank warrior and like so on uh, and then the correct amulet epic and then the correct ring epic and then two inferno blades if you're um, a tank or a warrior and then um, um, uh, what is it called <laughs> the frostfire tome and the frostfire staff if you're a mage or support um so once you have all of that you want to be doing uh, mount asia and whatever you find in there um you have uh, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to try to get eyes um uh you can you like if you get for example spirits if you're a mage great if you're a warrior try to gather more spirits because usually you can trade three spirits for two eyes and if you are a tank you can trade one eye or one one spirit for around one or, or like two uh two hearts and then one eye for around four hearts so uh, this is my bank right now. I'm not really, like, I'm selling all of these. If you guys are interested in, in any of these, you can comment down below this I. I'm not selling this or the strength, them, strength gem, obviously, because I'm uh, I'm just using them on my armor. And um, you also want to keep leveling up your forging because once you are high level, you're going to be using major gem potions or maybe walk speed potions if you want to speed up the dungeons. I personally don't need them, um, uh, so I only use major gem potions, but if you do, that's fine, um, but you're going to want to be using major gem potions because it gives you a higher drop, um, higher chance of gems dropping instead of those useless, um, useless, like, ring of lights, <laughs> ring of lights, um, even if it's legendary, most people won't even be willing to trade a level 1 eye for that, which is pretty sad, <laughs> um, but...
but you're gonna be trying to get eyes or spirits so you can trade for whatever uh, whatever you are a warrior a tank or a mage and someone asked me in the chat interested in maxed dungeon not right now i'm recording so uh after oh that once you have sh uh, like you want to be putting so i personally think you you should first put eyes on 16 of your slots um as you can see this is uh, this is 12 four times two is 12 and then six uh no no, no, no thir uh, this is 15 adding this and then 16 on this inferno uh, uh, on this inferno blade so that's 16 in total and that's a level five eye for uh, if if you want to put level one eyes on all those slots you, you need to have a level five eye the reason um i have it like that is so um it's like even and it's a level five eye because my strength gem uh, my strength gems they'll fill up eight of my slots as you can see six plus two is eight and then you can uh, and then and if you're using eyes it, it wouldn't like split evenly let's say you have like a level five or like a level like a level five eye you can't like split it like i don't know how to say it um but uh i put strength gem uh, strength gems there and once you are like really strong though like maybe level four or five eyes on um on all of the slots that you have you um put strength gems you can trade your strength gems uh or intellect gems or um fortitude gems whichever you are um for uh the higher version like the asriel version so strength gems for eyes um which a, no a good ratio for that would be um four uh four strength gems no no, no not four strength gems eight strength gems uh, which is a level four for one eye i know it's an absurd ratio but um that's <laughs> that's what eyes has come to nowadays um spirits would be pr um probably f four um four one um four intellect gems for one spirit i don't know it's it prefers on this uh trader on the person who's trading the um spirits and then hearts it's just you can get those so easily hearts if you're a tank i don't even recommend going for fortitude gems because it's so easy to get hearts in this game you just um t uh, you just take out an eye um let's say this is an eye pull it in chat say trading for uh, oops tating trading for uh four hearts and they will take it in an instant well people who have four hearts um because eyes are so valued in this game it's like insane i actually wanted to become a mage once because of how much easier it would be to get spirits but like i'm just not used to that so i switched back to a warrior and i just traded my mage gear um for just eyes so once you think you are strong enough which i think i am i'm not like too strong but in my opinion i have like a lot of skill for example one of my friends um he he has 1.5 thousand strength his name is kkomk he soloed a four-man dungeon with 50 seconds left which is really impressive um as you know like the more people there are in a dungeon the harder it is he soloed it which was like which is like some effort levels and if you don't know effort once you're level 60 you will find out um he like which was really impressive but um i have like lower strength than him but in my opinion i have a lot of skill so i complete it a four man a dungeon in uh like with four minutes uh in 10 seconds left which i think is actually pretty good i don't know comment uh comment if you guys um have ever tried to do uh, tried to solo a four man dungeon so as i was saying the uh once you have uh like enough like you think you're strong enough get an alt account now an alt account would be pretty important um but the only thing is it would be annoying to level up it, it'll be a lot faster than leveling up your main account um because your main account for example could give all of his gems to the alt account's armor and then uh, and then then your alt account would just be very strong and be able to solo pretty much any dungeon with like iron armor um so uh, that's basically how i leveled up my alt account you should put all your uh, main accounts gems you could um make your main account like carry your alt account 
but that'll be like annoying making your alt account run every single um time uh, your main account beats a room because it doesn't give you xp if you're not in the same room uh or auto loot i think uh, or it doesn't auto loot if you're not in the same room so uh making an alt account uh, that's how to level it up fast i already made a video on how to level it up fast go watch that video after this one if you want to i'll put the link in the description so uh basically um yeah, i or um i taught you uh how to use your alt account and the why you should get an alt account video so go watch that if you like actually want to get an alt account i'll put that link in the description and um the uh the reason why is because the alt account will get you more eyes which you can trade for spirits or hearts which if you're a tank or a mage um obviously i'm a warrior so i would like to keep those eyes and yeah um basically uh that your alt account uh which they, what it could do um it could get you more uh it, as i said it can get you more eyes and you can just trade that for spirits now the way they get you eyes and stuff um uh, I, I explained it in a video why you should get an alt account so uh, uh the link is in the description so go check that out if you want so um that's uh that uh then that makes your main account stronger and as you know you can trade um spirits or eyes or hearts for whatever you want like uh you can trade spirits for eyes eyes for spirits eyes for hearts hearts for spirits hearts for eyes it's just it's just a long process of just getting more of your gems and eventually you should get um a full set of legendary second age um, armor or whatever you are legendary armor legendary amulet legendary ring and the weapons so what i recommend is getting the legendary helmet um or the hood the chest plate or the cloak um and then the amulet the ring and if you're a mage this is going to be easier so get the tome and get the legendary staff um but if you're a warrior, it's going to uh, be a lot harder because legendary inferno blades, they're worth about a level 5 eye, which is like really high priced. But like that's what, uh, what legendary inferno blades are worth. Um, so um, I haven't gotten those yet because I don't think I really want to trade a level 5 eye for an inferno blade. So I'm just going to just keep my eyes um, and... Uh, the reason you don't want to get the gauntlets and the plate legs is because, um, they give, uh, the epic, the legendary version of the plate legs and gauntlets, they give one extra strength. That's the most garbage, useless thing I've ever heard. It's a very long process to get these two. They're worth, like, level three eyes or something, um, and you get one extra strength. It's, like, really bad. Um, honestly, if I got the legendary versions of, the, of those, I would just trade it for a level 3 eye. Um, those are pretty much useless. But the Infernal Blades, they give more strength. Um, look at all the strength. And these are using strength gems, and these are using eyes. It, this gives 130 strength. This gives 224 strength. This gives 204 strength, and this has um, two level 5 um, and a level 6 strength gem. This one has all level 5s and it gives more strength. So obviously the Inferno Blades or the weapons, uh, whichever you are, the mage, um, it will give a lot more intellect or strength. So that's basically it. That's all you need to know and that's how to properly play Adventure Up. Um, and once you've gathered all that legendary gear and a bunch of eye spirits or hearts, whichever tank, a mage, or a warrior you are, that's you just keep trying to get better at the game. And yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Um, that's I guess that's it. I guess this is the worst outro ever. Um, that's it. And remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I don't know um if you want to and let let me do my outro let me do my outro and bye bye